The red boxes in Pixel Perfect provide information or warnings. The top box shows what format pixel your feed is set to work with. This can either be the Shopify integration or everything else. The Pixel Perfect app will prompt you if a new version of your product feed is available. Simply click the button to update the feed to the latest version. But be careful, if you have made any manual changes to your feed code, they will be overwritten. This is the URL of your Facebook feed. You will need to copy this and paste it into your product feed in Facebook to create your feed. Please note that your product feed will only work if you do not have a password on your store. This switch allows you to select whether to include product variants in your feed or not. Please be aware that if you do include product variants, you will need to reduce the feed number to 250 or less to avoid breaking Shopify. Pagination sets the number of products included with each page of the product feed. If you do include variants, you should reduce the number of products included in each page to 250 or less. All you need to do then is to include more pages with each product feed. If Facebook gives you errors that your products are all uppercase, you can use this setting to force them to lowercase without changing the products on your store. If your store uses Metafields for Facebook custom labels, you can enable support for that by clicking this switch. Sometimes your images in your Facebook catalogue will not look correct. This is because Facebook requires 600 by 600 pixels and a square format. You can set this format automatically as a best guess by enabling this switch. Due to cropping, you may see the centre of the image and it may be missing the top or the bottom depending on how your image is originally. However, this is just a best guess. If cropping is not a good solution for you, it is possible to host images externally. A good solution would be to create your own lifestyle images at 600 by 600 pixels that work effectively for your adverts. The default setting is to use the standard images within Shopify. However, you have two alternative choices. The first is to use every single image within the collection externally. The second choice is to only use images which are tagged. The second choice is good if you just wish to use external images for a few products, not every product on your store. You must call the name of the image the product handle. When you enter the URL, you should enter the full URL including HTTP or HTTPS. This is the location where your product images have been uploaded. Lastly, you can select which collection to synchronize with your Facebook feed. The default is all products. However, you can just choose a selection of products by dropping the box down and picking the collection. Once you have done this, don't forget to hit the save button.